What's going on? Deathcon here to show you my Sideshow Premium Format Batman statue, number 21 of 2500. Very low number. And look at this. Here's my favorite part of the whole damn box. That logo. Man. I got a story with that logo oh, I'm going to get to. But here's the front of the box, or back of the box. I consider it the front because it has the title. Got that Batman in Shadow. Classic logo there from the classic movie poster. Here's the back. Give you a little preview of what the statue is going to look like. Here it is out of the box. Comes broken down in a lot of pieces, which you have to very carefully and patiently put together. Here we have the head sculpt, which is absolutely beautiful. <coughs> and the body. The bat bod. There you have number 21 out of 2500 on the bottom of the base. And let me give you uh, a look at how it looks in the package in here. There's that head sculpt. Got the, uh, got the light on it. You can see those big blue eyes. I think the eyes should have been more of a green color since Michael Keaton has, the, uh, I believe, more green eyes than he does blue. Here's the base. And the body, once again, give you a closer look. There are minor blemishes on this thing. Little scuffing on the chest. Love the detail on the hand. There's the bat cake, the bat ass. <coughs> uh, overall, the body looks amazing. There's that foot peg and Batman's Nikes. I don't know why they haven't released this shoe yet. I think it would make money. They uh, released the bat shoes, the bat boots. Six pack. Utility belt here is one of the magnetic bats that you put on the base. I'm going to show you how the other one connects. Yeah. And boom, that's it. It's in. This thing is all magnets besides the foot peg, which is really cool. Here we go up the stairs. I connected the body to the base, which you have to be very careful with. I thought I could just use gravity, you know, just drop it in there very slowly, not necessarily drop it, place it in, and it wasn't working at first. I thought maybe this thing is, uh, it, it's not fitted right, but I gave it a little push, a little bit of pressure when I had it lined up just right, and it went right in, it slid in. So you want to be gentle while giving it a, just that little push. <clears throat> Uh, uh, those stairs are made out of a plastic. They're meant to look kind of, um, you know, like not brand new, like he's walked on them a few times, scuffed it up. I had some problems finding the cape. At first I thought that they totally forgot the cape, but it was in a separate compartment. So don't be alarmed if you buy this thing and you can't find the cape. The uh, cape, it's there. Here I'm showing you how the cape connects. It's all Velcro. Here's the arm going in. Magnetically, boom, that's in there, no problem. Here's that head sculpt for a better look. Um, I guess some people have said it doesn't look much like he did. Um, I disagree. I think it does look like him. Uh, look at that mouth. He's known for those freaking lips and, you know, like the lines on the, on the corners of his mouth. It's all there perfectly. I think they could have did a better job on the nose. It's a little curved, while well, in the movie it was straighter from a side profile, but those eyes, that mouth, it's cute. It was done 100%. It's in the 90th percentile somewhere. It's really good. Like I said, that nose is a little curved. I've compared it to others and they all come that way. But look at those eyes. Once it <laughs> clears up, but I would have preferred more green, but I'll take it. Here we have the base, the body, the cape, magnetic bats, and the head all together. <coughs> now, this is a statue that I personally just had to have. I remember being six, turning seven in June of 1989. My dad coming to pick me up that morning. Hey, John, do you want to go see the Batman movie? I'm like, oh my God, yes. And 
him picking me up and, our, and on the way to the movie theater, stopping at a red light and I saw that big bus stop poster, just that bat logo. That bat logo and the poster was all you needed to get anybody hyped for this movie. And I remember sitting in the theater being terrified by Jack Nicholson's Joker, like really scared of him. But uh, Michael Keaton's performance as Batman, just perfect. This is my favorite Batman movie by far. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best depiction of Batman, Gotham City, the best musical score by Danny Elfman. Just everything about this movie is perfect. I love this movie. Had to have this statue. And I really broke the bank for it. It retails at 400 I got it a little cheaper based on my current uh, situation. But uh, this was a must-have. Must, must-have. I wish they would do a Jack Nicholson Joker, but next month we have the Superman premium format statue, which I'm concerned about with the head sculpt, but I'm probably going to pick it up because it's fucking Chris Reeve and Michael Keaton, Chris Reeve, the two guys who made me believe this stuff was real. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you later.